The new antenna Isimets Global 2 is a drop-in replacement for the Isimets Global we have had in the program until this summer. The reason for the change is the previous version has been phased out by the supplier. The new Isimets Global 2 has new hardware inside and supports more GNSS systems, which stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. The accuracy is DGPS, so 30 till 50 centimeter pass to pass accurate. The installation on the tractor's roof is simple, a bracket or a magnet. For connection of the terminal, just one cable is needed. One side is connected to the antenna. The other side of the cable has two connectors. One goes to the nine pin to the back of the terminal. The other one is to the RS232 serial port on the side of the terminal. The cable itself supplies another nine pin in cap connector to be able to connect additional tools which need a nine pin as well. By having additional antenna cables, this antenna can quickly be moved and relocated from one tractor to another one. Also, the Isimets Global 2 is equipped with an LED for status indication. Red LED signals the antenna is powered on, but is not receiving signals yet. Yellow LED signals it's receiving the signals from the satellite system, and green LED signals it's also receiving the correction signals from a SBAS network, standing for Satellite Based Augmentation System. The package is delivered with the antenna itself, the mounting bracket, the magnet, and the antenna cable. So now let's go to the other accessory, the ISMS grip. It's an auxiliary device making the operation of implements easier for the farmer. When driving on a bumpy field, a mistake by pushing the wrong button on a touchscreen is easily made as you push the button above, below or next to the original desired button due to the movements of the tractor in the field. This is where the grip takes over. As an operator, you assign the functions of your to the buttons of the grip in the configuration fitted to your needs. With its ergonomic design, you operate the machine from your fingertips. The grip has 12 buttons. Of its maximum, 11 can be used to allocate a function of the implement. The 12th button is then used to scroll to the next mode. As operator, you can select up to four modes. And you can see them in the screen or on the LED on the grip. It's blue, red, green, and yellow. For safety reasons, that's two button operation, there's a trigger switch to the rear side of the grip. The operator can decide for himself if he wants to use the safety trigger function, yes, as this is a customer programmable option. When the trigger feature is selected and the trigger is pressed, on all buttons with an allocated function, a white LED will burn. If the trigger feature is not selected, the white LEDs will burn directly without trigger activation. The functions of the machine are allocated to the buttons in a programming mode on the terminal. In our case, the Isimets Telus terminals. This program mode can be found on the terminal by pushing the main menu button. That's this one and then the button with a joystick icon. That's like here. The fastest way to promote and to program is by switching to learn mode. And here we can see the buttons which already have an assigned program. How do we program then? After we assign we select the function, select the first cross and push the button you want to allocate. And then that function is allocated to that button. Multiple implements can be operated simultaneously by the grip. You can see here, I can select between two different implements which are currently connected to the system. And it's even possible for various machines to assign the same function to the same button. Imagine, for example, a combination of a seeder machine at the back and a front mounted liquid fertilizer sprayer using the same button for start stop operation. 
talking about sprayers, the grip will be almost a mandatory accessory with the new sprayers equipped with X-Spray software. If multiple functions are allocated to one button, this is shown in the ship's scripts screen with the plus 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 symbol. By pushing this symbol, you will see which machine and which function are allocated to the specific button of the grip. In this example, start stop and start stop for the sprayer and the spreader are both on this same button. As the grip is IF certified for the aux N functionality, it will not only work with the equivalent group terminals, but also with third party terminals with IF certification for the function aux N. If you want to use the isometric grip with an ISMS terminal of a third party, please consult the manual of third party terminal how to program the grip buttons. Another advantage of the grip is that it has its own object pool in the screen. This means you can see the layout of the grip on the terminal and see the functions on the buttons which correspond with the buttons of the grip itself. If no function is assigned, a cross is shown. Especially on the Pro, this is a nice feature as the grip screen can then be shown on the second screen of the terminal. The grip has only one cable connecting directly to the 9-pin in-cap connector and supplying again another 9-pin in-cap connector itself. If not used to connect another equipment, and, and it's important that you fit it, because if you don't fit it, you will see that the connection to the machine will be lost. So if nothing is fitted, please connect the cap. The package is delivered with the isometric grip itself and with a small ram mount to fit it in the tractor cabin. When farming means business.